Yeah, we're all here. I'm gonna roll my second hit dice then. And I also use my arcane recovery. Oh, nine, nice. Okay, well that's definitely up to full health. Okay, so I have no dice at the moment. For the next short rest in the day. Yeah, and I've got second wind and action surge back, which is nice. And full health, I've still got a potion. Hmm. Uh, good to go, I think. So we've barricaded the room. Dragged some barrels in front yes. of the door. Mm. And we've got some time to investigate it first before we unbarricade and make works, ourselves yeah. known. So who is investigating? Well, Nelson is immediately attracted to the, the money and stuff on the table. Okay. I was Wait, just being as well. Whoever's going to investigate. Barrels. Roll it. Ah, you have roll it. Okay, uh, I'll go. I already rolled a five. Oh, I find the warp hole in the <laughs> natural twenty on investigation. So, <laughs> not that it means anything. Seven. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All the money on the table has mysteriously vanished. <laughs> I can't find any of it. Like, okay, so um. This would be for party funds anyway at this point. I yeah, guess. pretty much. Uh, you find. Uh, you find. Well. Uh, don't open again, don't I? <sighs> what the goblins know? No, it's not what I want. That's what I want. Do, do, oh, yeah, so if there's any loot on the corpses as well. Uh, you find. Um, a gold demon. So it's tiny rubies, so that's thirty gold. Uh, thirty gold worth. Uh, you gold find earring or ring? Gold, gold earring. Uh, oh, we got definitely got the pirate team. One earring and iPad. You <laughs> find. Uh, Someone could do a nice fancy dress. One thousand seven hundred copper pieces. A uh, hundred gold pieces. Five hundred and twelve silver pieces, and you find. Two hundred electron pieces. Ooh. Ooh. That's electron pieces are you ten tenth more than gold, right? Yeah, that's ten yeah. Yeah, ten gold per electron. But the uh, Where are they? But they only really use uh in the under under common by bad people. Okay. People who know what they're doing. So it's like finding a suitcase full of used fifty pound notes. Pretty much. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, um, it's, like, it's like finding um collage dollars in there. I would also <laughs> it's just are, are, flavor. Are, are any of their weapons in good order? Are they all crap stuff that we've been finding before? Pretty much. I would like to collect up all the dice that I can find. You find you find about six or seven no, I find about four sets of dice. Nothing fancy, but they're good common dice. Oh, actually, electrums are uh, half a gold piece, uh, five electrum per gold. Actually, I, th I thought it was ten. I thought it was decimal all the way. Yeah, and so sometimes, but because electrum is um, on the dark, it's a bit different. Okay, yeah, but it's the common. <laughs> I rolled a five while looking in the barrels. You find some rancid meat. Uh, nothing good. No uh, usable meat. Well, wait, what barrel? Big barrels in the corner. No, just some rancid meat. Some rotten vegetables. Damn it. <laughs> Right, I've added the dice to my gaming set. <laughs> so, uh, Droop, uh, is this the only entrance to the entrance to the Glassstaff's area, or are there other entrances into the... Uh, through the door? The, well, into glass. Well, the door leads to a small hallway that goes back up to the cavern. Ah. North end, and then, but on the other side of the, but there's a door 
immediately opposite this door. It goes okay. into Glass Staff's personal workshop. Uh, what about on the other side of the chasm? Where does that lead? That leads to uh, the main entrance uh, and towards prisoners in the crypt. Okay. I say we go for Glass Staff first myself. Okay. Glass Staff and Can you have you been into the, the, the workshop? Have you seen it, Droop? Uh he shakes his head. No, Droop not allowed in there. Only glass staff. Okay. What uh who who were the prisoners in here currently? How many are there? Who are they? There is Three prisoners are female. Uh, they are. Oh. <laughs> they, um... No. They're all wearing, wearing slave layer costumes. And are happy to see us go. <laughs> they are. Um... No, it's not that kind of adventure. Damn they it. are the uh, <laughs> wife and daughters of Biel Dandra, the woodcarver. Ah. Okay, yep, yep. The okay. one that was murdered, so that's who okay, yeah. that's who that is. Right, so we need um, to remember to go and let them out, but they're not likely to be okay, I was I was wondering if it'd be somebody that we could let out and they would help us with the fight, but they're probably not going to be much use. No. A woodcutter's family, not like a group of yeah. hardened warrior maidens <laughs> or I don't even know. Okay, well, not all shrugs. I guess we go beat up Glass Staff then. Aye, that seems like a plan. Just remember, he's going to have magic, so be prepared. And there was still that thing that stole, did something to my mind when uh, I first came oh, in. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so. uh, um, I'll listen to the door. I make a perception check. See how perceptive I am. Come on. <laughs> Fourteen. You don't hear anything. Okay. So I'm gonna prep the door and get it ready to open. Okay. As you um open well, the door. Nelson hmm. suggests maybe Someone slightly sneakier than me should go first this time. Well, I'll I'll open the door, standing to the side there, and just go <laughs> open up. And... Uh, you are dim lit hallway with the door opposite ah. what you pres presumed leading to the wizard's work workshop. I'll step out, or I'll stand here and look around the corner. I'm uh, you see a, a hallway with stairs leading up. Okay. I'll step out and then check the door for traps and such and investigation and perception take... both if you want to listen and investigate at the same time okay investigation first uh, the and a perception the door is not trapped unlocked uh, you don't hear anything inside okay uh, oh yeah Does... no you don't you don't hear anything Okay. Um, so I'll step to the side. Does the door open inwards? I'm assuming again. Yeah. Okay. Doors unlocked. Ready to go. Okay. Nelson kind of flexes slightly, cracks his knuckles, and. Uh... Do you want to kick it in? Again? Do you want to kick it in again? And you open it for you. Nelson kind of considers for a moment and goes, "Yeah, okay, that was really cool." <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, you should buy a battering ram like a I, I am ram. the battering ram <laughs> um, strength or athletics I can't remember how we did that uh, or I could, I could do another strength saving throw <laughs> athletics, athletics would be your best yeah. 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 <laughs> I kick it off its you, bloody you, hinges yeah you, you boot this wow. with such strength for that it comes off hinges and flies across the floor and hits the other end. 
alerting anybody inside and possibly adjacent rooms that there's someone here. Um, but the room appears to be empty, apart from one very scared-looking mount, uh, rat. Okay, I'm gonna uh, all right. uh, step just Me inside and have a look for traps or anything, I suppose. Uh, Perception? Investigation. Investigation. Uh. You don't see any traps? Okay. Um, I'll follow up. You okay, I'm more? just going to step forward to this wall then and gesture for everyone to, you know, gesture that it's clear. I'll come in da, 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 there, okay. and there, and then there, and I'm going to listen at the door and check for traps and such. So. As, you, um, as you come in, you look around and you see that um, there's a Alchemy set on the um, table, bubble in the way, and the rat seems to be looking at you, curious and following you around. And I shall move through. Can, can I? I'm, I'm glancing at the rat, and it's not the fact that it's Acting following us around. It's a bit, it's a bit strange. Is there some kind of check I can make here? As I'm looking curiously at this rat behaving oddly. I've seen plenty of rats. They generally don't follow you, you, you around like that. I mean, if you want, you'd have to cast the rat. <laughs> yes, okay, that's sufficiently a silly image of Nelson on his hands and knees trying to I just... scrab around. Are you mind thrusting the, the rat? You're mind thrusting the rat. Okay. <laughs> <Yep>. um, <laughs> let, me go, let me go and pull up the rat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For two damage. The rat gives a squeak and explodes. <laughs> if it is a rat. Intelligent. Oh, wow. <laughs> it saves. It does. Well, <laughs> this even, is with the minus, even with the minus four to intelligence, it still saves it. Um, I, I tell uh, Nelson, it's a really smart rat, so uh, <laughs> it must be... Hell, even if it's just a normal rat, I kind of want this as my pet rat now. That would be awesome. Okay, are uh, you going to attempt to catch this yeah, rat? Yeah, go on. Um, well, well, they're busy turning around. It's, I'm gonna, I'm know. gonna check out the door here and listen for anything inside. Well, I'm scraffling around trying to catch a rat. Um, down, down. This, is, this isn't even like a fancy rat. This is a full-on, proper, you know, size of a size of a cat or something. Because this is his workshop, and Droop, what's? Do you know what's supposed to be off this door? Uh, Droop. Oh, Troop, uh, this is glass half, glass half bad. That's oh. What what am I? This main, what am I rolling? This is bad way. Um, athletics or yeah, make a make a. Uh, or would this be more of a dex than acro acrobatics? Yeah, dex. Okay, acrobatics. I've still got oh, my dex isn't great, but I do have a proficiency in acrobatics, so let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> no. As you lunge at the fat, it lunge. It pounces away, jumping through your fingers. Use cheese. Use food <laughs> to entice it. Um, so what is everybody else doing? Uh, I'm listening at the door and checking uh, traps and stuff. <laughs> so first, uh, let's do a perception check. Well, no traps investigation. The Trap the door is opened. It opened it, it's unmarked. You don't really hear anything inside. You just hear the noises around you yep. of a hulking orc jumping around after a rat. <laughs> It's so uh, cute, uh, uh, you guys. It, it, uh, I get tired. I'm going I'm to try and use my acrobatics to go catch that damn rat for him. Just quiet. <laughs> okay. Um, do I catch it? I'm going to start looting the alchemy yeah. set while they're doing this. Um, <sighs> you catch the rat. Oh, that's cool. Um, as Here. you're looting the alchemy set, nothing really there. It's just an expensive item spot. 
Um, I'm taking everything. I'm just sweeping <laughs> into wait, 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 my wait, wait, bag, wait. and I'm uh, sweeping into Darman's bag. Uh, well, uh, it's glass. Don't do that. You'll break it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to gingerly take the rat and feed okay. it a piece of bread. Can I? Um, can I have a, like like a charisma, like a persuasion animal check? Animal handling. There we go. Well, animal. I guess animal handling. I don't know, I'm trying to persuade this thing to not. You um. You know. Run uh, do you find uh, Jigger that there is a? Uh... Good. Three small bottles. Don't know what's in them, but they look to be rare. Um, someone, uh, someone with this sort of arcana could possibly check that. You know what? I'll give it to uh, Darman to um, hold on to. Um, but yeah, like the main <laughs> work. This is like where the, the main thing, and there's books, uh, kicking the line about. As well. Guys, slow down. We got other things to worry about. We'll come back for the books I, and the bottles. I think. I take the books and I give the three bottles to Darmin. Um. Okay. How many books are we talking about here? Yeah. There's there's a lot books. of books. Do you want to search I, for the I, books? I, I think I think yeah, you'd have to pick and choose. All right, I'll just I'll just pick the ones that were already on the table. That okay. Were um, on the table or something. Feels feel so bad, man. We, we we can always come back for the books. You um. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just entertaining myself while they were catching a catching a mouse. I sure it's a, rat. It's, it's a very different creature, honestly. Call you pick up mouse. the um, pick up the books, and most of them are in common, but there's one that's in dwarvish. One in dwarvish. Okay, sure. I'll I'll keep the ones in common, and then I'll just give the one uh that's in dwarvish. Oh. To, to Darman, and then we're going to move on. I'm not reading them. Okay. Right, so, um, you caught the rat. Caught the rat. Yeah, do I want to do an animal handling to persuade it to, you know, not run away? If you want. If I'm feeding, feeding feed it, it some red yeah. cheese or something. Okay. It's really cute. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, well, now you get a 20! <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, I save it for the important stuff, you know? <laughs> you pull out some some cheese that you've had uh, hidden away somewhere in the back bed, and you feed in its mouth this rat that so looks up to you, takes happily, hungrily, will some such bread and cheese, and okay, I'm gonna... pushes itself on your shoulder. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I now have a pet rat. So... Uh, this is the first time a cat has caught a rat and not eaten it. <laughs> okay. What are we, wait, what are we doing? Uh, I'm gonna line up at the door and say, "Okay, get ready to go in." I, I'm gonna call He's it. I'm gonna call it Coco. It's very important that it has a name, obviously. Okay. This, this was. Uh, this is a complete aside. But this is the name of an actual pet rat that 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 my my brother had when we were growing up. So. This is okay. why I was so keen. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Right, so, uh, who's going in first? Well, I think I've established my credentials at kicking down doors at this point. Okay. So, Kick down the door. Uh, athletics once again. I'm almost tempted to ask if I can get an advantage because I've been doing it so well. Um, I've, my, my door kicking muscles are, you know, they're really warmed up at this point. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Darman's bad pun there. Twenty. You um, you again kick this door and as your boot hits it, the door splinters and swings open. I like how we've given whoever's in here time to prepare while we're all been catching rats and rifling through the the glass windows. And... As you kick open the door, you find an empty room. Oh, that's anticlimactic. I'm going to step inside, once again, gesture for people to follow. The wall, the walls of the iron chamber are covered in drapes of scarlet cloth. The furniture inside includes a small writing desk with a matching chair, a comfortable wooden-looking bed, and a wooden chest at the foot of the bed. Is there enough... Don't touch the chest. ...room behind the 
drapes for somebody to be hiding behind? No, not really. Okay. Uh, but we'll search behind them in any case, make sure there's a secret exit. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to uh, investigate the chest to make sure that there's no traps on it. Investigate. And I'm going to start looking through the stuff on the desk. Um, there is nothing. Uh, there's no no uh, traps on the is it, is it dirty locked? chest. It's not locked. Alright. Uh, I will gingerly open it up. Okay. Gingerly open it up. As it turns into some creature. Um, as you open up, you see mounds of stuff inside. Um, as you open up, there is 3,000 copper pieces, 200 gold pieces, 1,130 silver pieces. There is copper chalice with silver filigree on it. One embroidered silk handkerchief, small gold bracelet, one small sewer set in a wooden painted frame, and five potions of healing. Uh, can you re five can you repeat that again? Okay. Copper chalice <laughs> with oh just give me a sec silver yeah filigree yeah one embroidered silk handkerchief small gold bracelet um and a small mirror set in painted wooden frame all worth 25 gold um plus five potions of healing um we're gonna uh, gold bracelet and you said a serving set yeah. in a wooden in a wooden frame yeah oh a small uh mirror yeah small mirror uh and what was oh. what was the cash amounts Cash amounts were three thousand copper, two hundred gold. Three thousand copper, two hundred gold, and one thousand silver. Yeah. Any any special clothing or anything else I can in? Uh, uh, I propose we split the potions up equally right now. There's yeah. also um, two peridots, a pearl for a thousand, uh, for a hundred gold. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. And one pearl that's a hundred gold. Yeah, the the two pedals are worth fifteen gold a piece. Uh, okay. And what was the bracelets value roughly? They were all twenty five. Uh, all the 25. items. Yeah. Oh, how many of them were there? Sorry. Just well, it was just one uh, gold bracelet. And then the serving sets, there. Serving set. I think you. I think you mean the mirror. The mirror. Oh, okay. Okay. Mirror. Yeah. It, it's that damn Scottish accent. <laughs> One so mirror. gold bracelet, one yeah. small mirror in a wooden frame, two pair one, of one gold, uh, one copper chalice, and a, with a, silver filigree, yeah. and a fancy silk handkerchief, with embroidered mm. even. Yes. Um, okay. And five that must be a very potions. fancy handkerchief if it's worth twenty-five gold. Um, right. How are we divvying up the potions, though? Uh, as it goes right now, each of you gets one. I get two. Okay, yeah, because then the will have the same amount. Everybody have two, yes. Yep. Is there anything on the table? There is. Um, oh, make a... And when you're now, make an investigation with advantage in that area. I'm feeding more bits of bread and cheese to the mouse, uh, to the... You got me doing it now, to the rat as all this is going on, to Coco. Hey, it's, Again, one, it's one smart go. rat, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got advantage. <laughs> oh. That's fine. Um, you find a letter. Uh, jeez. Oh, there. I uh, hand the letter to Darman. Did that come up for everybody? As I take a print print screenshot. Uh, 
uh, yeah. Ah, so Albrecht wasn't such a good guy then, definitely. Mm. Uh, you also, while you're in that, in that area, you find um, you find what appears to have been a secret door here. Ooh. Interesting. I I think this is pretty conclusive that Albrecht is the the black mm. uh, is glass staff at this point. Yeah. Uh, the secret door is unlocked and it's ajar. Um as you, you're looking at it, you get you feel that someone was in here and in the haste of you kicking the door, grab several items and run out. Oh, probably heard us and then ran. Yeah. Because we were so sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> We might be able to catch the guy. Try. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna at, at this point point out that it is. We've been going for like three hours. Hey, you, this, it's... this might be, you know, an okay time to. Yeah. Stop. Unless everybody wanted to go for like an extra hour, because I, I could do that. I, can I mean, go an hour. I can go extra. If everybody wants to go extra, fine with going extra. I can go extra if people want. Unless people have got fashion I, matters to their tent. I have to... no, I have no plans. So. Okay. No, yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay then. Um, so you have all this nice, lovely money with you. Uh, we have found so much money this uh, this session. Uh, so, what do you wish to do? Are you going to try and? Any. Are there any other notes or books on, on the table? I just want to grab everything in case I, something. I'll is come like over no. and see if my investigation helps. There's there's Fine. nothing around. You go off to grab what appears to be the only okay. important note. Everything else is just trivial okay. matters. Well, I'm gonna I search the desk and say, I don't. Evidence. You guys don't know how to do this. I'll make a note. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and, and I'm like, okay, maybe you did. Never mind. You find the exact same things they do uh, as uh, yeah, Jigger does. Let's I'm, go after. I'm gonna oh, wait. Is, is that stairwell going up or yeah. down? Up. Up. Yeah, you can tell from the direction of the, the steps. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step through there. Is it a hidden, uh, like another hidden door at the top on the other side? Yeah. It will be. Okay, Do you want to be well, second or third there, Dark? Darwin? I'm second. Huh? Second? Okay, well then I'm third. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to look back at Droop and say, what, what's on the other side? What what would be here? Yeah, uh, Droop. Thanks for a second. Um, well, I'm going to figure out what well, is going to be the stuff. eye monster. Be ready um, for the eye monster. Oh, that's a um, storeroom. We keep all our stolen stuff. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, this doesn't really look like I don't think I could get a good swing in here, so I'm just going to open the door for a change, for a re refreshing, you know, change of pace. <laughs> I'm going to actually open, use a door as it's intended. Open the door as open the door. You reveal this uh, storeroom and what appears to be the top entrance of the cavern. Okay. Um. Is it? We well, you know the guy came through here. Uh, can I tell which direction he's gone in? Like I don't know, footprints in the dust or scuffle. Uh, or something? Can make a perception to try and hear him. Our survival check. Uh, Any footprints? Survival, I think, would be the better one. Okay. Fifteen. Uh, you. You get on the ground and see. Nothing in the storeroom, but in the dirt of the cavern. See what appear to be fresh human footprints. So he's gone south of us. So he's going for the the exit. Yeah. Okay. I say we start at a hustle move down there. After. Yep. Okay. Let's just run after him then. Two Damn, seconds. I knew we should. I knew we should have set a trap. Back the for a second. I 
maybe we should. Uh, I I don't know what's faster, opening the door normally or kicking them down. I'm having a hard time deciding. I know which is more fun. I agree with you there. I can see why it's. I can see the lure uh, of kicking down the doors. Though it would be kind of annoying if this like spider guy to, I'm back. Out, to have been in here and now gets away because of. Right, so what are you doing? I think we should, I think we just, I mean we could, yeah, I think we just go chasing after and see if we can catch okay. Um. Okay, as um, you enter the room, you see... Glass staff at the start of the tunnel. Ooh, okay. Um, uh... And he turns around and he says, We leave him now! Don't know to what. But, um... Right, can I use aggressive to cover all of this distance? Because that would give me 60 feet total. Um. Of movement. Or is that a thing I can only use inside of combat? that but second because uh, he's 55 feet from me mm-hmm. from yeah oh no that's but 60 that's, feet exactly yeah so I, I can do it full short by by two squares count because you can do 12 squares okay um yeah you can do that does that not take me right up to him though 60 feet uh, yeah, should do. Uh, so I'm gonna run, 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 run. Uh, as you get to about Irish, if you okay. Uh, make a constitution save. Constitution. No. Oh. No. As um, if you run past. <clears throat> Um, you take <laughs> 14 points oh no no 13 points of necrotic damage 13 okay as but uh, what <laughs> is like a, there's a sigil or something like that trap goes off as Ooh, Norfolk there's a thing they, they float in uh, the, uh, the one-eyed monster, Norfolk, seemingly um, from nowhere. And Nelson goes, oh, it's that kind of one-eyed monster. <laughs> <laughs> um, as that, and as that, you um, watch as class staff. Uh, so is that, turns that's around and runs movement. down. Yeah, okay. one. Uh, uh, so, uh, it had to be a one. <sighs> make uh, everyone uh, investigate. Uh, initiative. <laughs> so one right there. Oh, oh, I just clicked on. It was such a good plan. I used up all my luck taming that rat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> duck. It is Darman to go first. Right. There, and I can't move anymore because I don't have any more movement. And I assume I can't see anything other than the evil eye down there. Yeah, there. yeah. Right. So I want to cast a spell on it. No, what is it? Wait a minute. I need to see how far away it is. Well, that should be fine. Oh, that hits. And that hits. And that takes eight, eight lightning damage. Oh. Yeah. As you uh, hit the Norfolk with a fighting about it, it screeches out in uh, pain. 
And uh, this is a continuous spell, so I have to keep a concentration, and each round I can trigger yep. lightning without rolling for attack. Yeah. Oh, so... There's not like a constant lightning bolt hitting him, Yes, right? there is. Uh, There's a blue streak of lightning between me and the, the monster right now. Think think of um, Seth, force ability. Cool. Uh, Curiously uh, enough, the the lighting comes from my beard. <laughs> so you're holding up your... Uh, right, uh... Jiga, it's now you go. There we go. That's what we're seeing there right now. Well, I like I'm continuing the trend of... of, uh... <laughs> nice. Of terrible initiative rolls. <laughs> uh... Hello? Hello. Yeah, we're waiting for you. Oh, I'm yeah, done. Can, oh, I that's, that's not bad. can I move through everybody? Yeah, you can move through. Uh, I can make it up here. Uh, you know what? I'll just double move. One, two, three. Yep, that's me double moving, and that's it. Okay. All right. Right. Uh, eager. So. You... So, uh, I put on a burst of speed with my feline agility. Mm -hmm. it's one, two. Um, can I pass by Nelson? That's a reduced. He kind of blocks me right there. So I'm going to stop there and okay. crossbow the critter. That's okay. The lightning. Crossbow the critter. I think I hit him. Um, yeah. 23. That hits. As the uh, crossbow flies off and it hits some part of his body. Or. Nebulous, whatever. You joke. Uh, okay, it is now Drip's turn. Drip help. Drip, drip, drip. Drip has got to move here. Next to uh, feel bad. Uh, he's going to pair up with Shopo and he's going to make an attack. And he misses. Drip sad. Drip sad. Yeah. It is now the turn of one eyed monster. And he's going to. This is going to hurt. He's going to. Uh, he's going to run over. And he's going to make a multi-attack against uh, Nelson. Oh, good. A multi-attack, no less. Uh, 17. Misses. 16. Misses. Let's get it. Oh, phew. Um, that's going to end its turn. Nelson, you're up. Right. Um, hmm. I'm going to start off with the second wind, just to immediately get some hit points back. Uh, which is... I'll remember eventually. 1d10 plus 2. Uh, that's 9 hit points back. Okay. Which takes me back up to 18, which is much better. And I am... Uh, can I get around it? Just because um, I'm going to be blocking. Well, not that everyone's yeah, going to have you, a good you, line yeah, of sight anyway, but you, yeah, you, I want to get you, around you, it just so other people yeah. could get a. And then I'm going to. You'll be able to get around it, yeah. I'm going to attack it with the Warhammer. Okay. You attack with your Warhammer. That hits. 18. Okay. As you um, 
swing your Warhammer, it comes in close with the side of this um, Norfolk. As uh, uh, impacts and it shrieks out in pain once again. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, uh, it's your turn. Darum, it is now you. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Is uh, pretty funny. <laughs> so, does he just roll for damage again? Um, look. Constant. So. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was kind of, I was kind of thinking here. Sorry. We we could hear gears grinding, so we were one. So I moved down there and uh, zap him. Just I, I'm totally now picturing Palpatine, just you know, wiggling his hands and zapping Luke Skywalker. Another ten damage. Okay, Duke. Nice. Um, as you um, increase the energy somewhat akin to um, the uh, Goku Freezer fight, another pulse of energy laps down your the thing your uh, lightning as it hits. Um, this Norfolk doesn't appear to be too happy as it's now slowly turning black, singed from the the lightning. Uh, is that everything? That was everything, yes. Okay. There you go, it's now you to go. Uh, I'm gonna move one, I've just two... Pulled up a gif for the benefit three, of the, <laughs> for the later four. viewers. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to shoot him with a poison arrow. Okay. Shoot. Pull on you. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, a critical. Nice. Ah, uh, that's a nine. Shoot it right uh, in the eye. Uh, he failed. Yeah, he, yeah. As the um pull back on your, sh on your shovel, you um the eye will I will fly true as it strikes it in the eye, and the uh, Norfolk uh screeches out in pain as it falls over and uh, it is no longer a problem. Nelson gives it a kick for good measure. Uh, I'm as you playing. kick it, it starts to roll down and into the crevasse. No loot. <laughs> I mean it's, it doesn't really exactly have pockets so Yeah. So we can either chase after the guy down the narrow tunnel well, out into the forest. At my turn, that's what I plan to do is okay. running 120 feet He's down. Um, 120? Oh, is that with your... Uh... Uh, 60, sorry, 60. I can't do it yet. Okay. Yeah, so that's our combat. Um... Yeah. That was the thing that um, probed your mind at the start. I was guessing so. Well, I guess we chase after Glassstaff then. Um, Don't forget, we still have some prisoners to come and free at some point. Yep. As you run out after him, you get to the end of the tunnel and he is nowhere to be seen. Can I make a survival? Yeah, make a survival check if you want. Yeah, see where he's gone. Just to see if we can still pursue. While I'm done, I have survival. Oh, uh, rats, no. Mm -hmm. 
Can I do an investigation? Go ahead. You you look around, but you don't really see you see footprints, but they don't look you. They look like they're coming in and not leaving. So you don't really see where he's went after. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, the last staff or Iron Iron or Albrecht is no longer. Here. Oh, did, did he, we actually see his face to be able to describe him to uh, people? I yeah. might have gotten... Yeah, I mean, it's dim light in here, but I'd have gotten a look at yeah. him. He would have been within my vision range. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we had, uh, you know... Go free the prisoners yeah, and... back inside, up. find what loot we can, free the prisoners, and then back into town. Okay. So, so what did you call that creature there, by the way? Norfolk. Norfolk? Nothing. Yeah, do, 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 do. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, and then we still got the upstairs to go and look at, but yes. Because not including the, uh, the there's at least five other non-skeleton creatures around. Yeah, there's yeah, there's there's the okay. The, so the prisoners were off to the east, and then there's also a passage out of that storeroom as well. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I I'm I'm going to go down into the you know tramped back along the tunnel. I'm not going to go back down into the. Uh, okay. As um, area. to do it as you walk across this uh, walk down. Uh, it starts opening up into a passage. Okay. And uh, what appears to be a wall. As Droop comes in behind you. Not wall, secret door. Okay. Slightly turned Chinese. So I'm going to walk up to it and uh, do I have to ex- examine it to see where to. I would guess. Or can I just try and smash uh, through it? <laughs> smash through it if you really want. You can investigate. But you can smash as well. Yeah, let's do it. I like let's, the Kool-Aid man. I, I, I like. <laughs> I'm, just uh, gonna, I'm just gonna get my warhammer and try and you know make a yeah, hole through roll, it and stick my face roll, through and go. Here's Nelson. <laughs> roll an attack roll. An attack roll with advantage. Okay, with advantage. <laughs> I really want to do that now. Yeah, you um, as you. Uh... Hit the door, this wall it starts to cave in immediately as you um, bust your way in. As you bust your way in, feel. So I'm, I'm sure a, a, a full orc no? bursting its way through the door wouldn't yeah. be at all terrifying for any prisoners <laughs> uh, in there. What appears to be some sort of like a lobby or entranceway, nice little underground little thingy, my bomb. Um, and stairs leading up, which you would presume would be where you were originally meant to come down. Okay, so this is like the entrance oh. lobby. The main uh, entrance to the, the sub. Um, so. Okay, um, well, I can see there's an. Is that two doors there? So there's one kind of on the north, and then one to the. So I'm going to turn back to Droop and say, where where would the prisoners be? Ah, um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess Should have guessed the frog would Yeah, feel, feels a bad man immediately go going to splash in the uh, fountain. Yeah. Um, Baker perception check, uh, Chigo. Uh oh. <laughs> As you swim around this lovely cistern of clean, now slightly fouled water, <laughs> um, you see a satchel, a waterproof satchel, uh, slung over, hung with some sort of rope 
along the south wall. I grab it. Pool. Inside is a potion of healing, a potion of invisibility, uh, a clean set of traveler's clothes, and fifty gold. Uh, I. Hand... I would think he'd be a good one to keep the water breath satchel. That's you know. Yeah. Well, no, I, I, I'm going to hand it to Darmin, because I know that wizards have papers and stuff that they want to keep uh, dry. dry. So I'm going to give that to Darmin, and I'm going to hand out the, the gold to Yanyella, because Yanyella's our accountant. Yeah. Pass uh, Nelson, hmm. did you already use a potion? Uh, I didn't in that that last fight, I used my second wind. So I've got okay, two I'll potions. Give you, I'll give you the potion anyway. Okay. Because you seem to be taking the most damage, and I'll give the potion of invisibility to Yen Yella as well. I think that's probably a good split. Yeah. How much do potions uh, weigh, by the way? Just out of interest. Is it like one? Yeah. Like a pound, yeah. Yeah, okay. A pound, half pound. Uh, I'll tell you now. Thanks, potion of healing is half a pound. Okay. Okay, right. Right, uh, yeah, so. Um, are the, the travelers' uh, clothes worth much? Are they. Or are they just like clothes? They're, they're probably worth. For silver. Yeah, I guess we can sell those then. At some point. Four years. I've been all noted here. Right, uh, so. Drip comes in. Ah, drip, drip. This place, cellar, main uh, hideaway up from going upstairs. Yeah. The main entranceway, should I say. Um, it points to here. The tunnel mm -hmm. goes to prisoners. Close goes west. To where? To and the, the other prisoners. door. Uh, the western or the northern other... door. Northern door. Okay. Western door is. Uh, Oh, barracks where Ruffy and sleep. Hmm. Maybe we should take care of them first. Yes. Yeah, I don't want them falling in, in our bags yeah. while we are right, clearing. So I'm, I'm going to go up place. to the door and go, right, boys, assume the position. Well, <laughs> let me let me check if for traps and locks and whatnot first. Sighs and steps out of the way. It's, it's probably not likely on a barracks door, but you never know, I suppose. Yeah, I don't find anything. No problems there. That all seems to be a nice, fi fi mightily fine. And I don't hear anything, so. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're going to go uh, back to kicking it out. <laughs> kicking it in? Okay. <laughs> you, um, you punt open this door for a hefty kick as, um, where. You open it up to what appears to be an old storeroom that is now a barracks for three ruffians. That, um, so, same routine as last time, surprise attack? Um, no. Oh. They, they, heard, they heard the commotion in there. Th these ones uh, were actually paying attention. Pretty much, yeah. They, they, they know what's, what's going on. I did kind of smash my way through that other door, I suppose. Yeah, so uh, roll initiative, everybody. <laughs> wop, wop. <laughs> you got the 35 second read guns, not the second read yeah, guns. Yeah, yep. Uh, that is, that's everyone. Oh, trip. Yeah, I'm I'm about at that stage right now, Jaeger Schnitzel, where their greatest enemy is doors. But <laughs> well, but yeah, the problem is is that we have the master key, but none of them have been locked. So 
We do, I do actually have an iron key. We found yeah. an iron key earlier, so that might go into something. I don't know. Not that we've had uh, a chance to find out. Okay, Damon, you're up again. Go first. Right. Uh, can I move through yeah. the squares that yeah, are outside? You'll, you'll be able to, unless they want to stop you from moving through the, your friendly squares, but I see you. Go right ahead. Right. But I want to move up the, to where it, uh, Nelson is right now, and I'm going mm -hmm. to cast the Burning Hands into room. Okay. Cast that Burning Hands. We well, could do the square of one pass, right? I don't think mm. you can occupy the same square as him. Yeah. One. Okay. One makes it, two fails. Right, and now I've cast the spell, ah. steps to the side. Okay, um, these two, uh, so, as you cast this into the room, this ruffian and this ruffian sadly don't make their uh, saving throws. No, and, not uh, sadly. And <laughs> they are um, incinerated as uh, fire <laughs> comes in and sets fire to the room. Definitely yeah. not, sadly. So, um, you're dead. Nelson ye yells out, Don't burn the loot! You're dead. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's everything. Oh, and he takes uh, half damage, so looking very worse for wear. Right, yeah. next man is up. Is there literally any point in trying to take any of these people alive? Not really. No, okay. I just couldn't really think of one myself. Well, no mercy it is, then. So it's, uh, you guess... We're taking... Come on, good. Um... I'm going to step in there, and I'm to... Stab him. Poke him, poke him with a rapier. Okay. Poke away. Survey says. Just imagining you like leapfrogging over me. Oh, okay, <laughs> R Rolf. What do I need to roll to see what happens to I me? Need to, I'll roll this. <laughs> oh, I, you can tell me what happens to me, but I want to. Uh, roll D100 then. D100. Thirty-four. Oh. Oh. As you um. <laughs> as you pull back, you um. You pull back too forcefully. As you do, you sink your blade into Nelson behind you, <laughs> <laughs> dealing ten damage. Oh. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Gee. Nelson wails out, Why? I <laughs> thought we were friends. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so is that the end of your turn? Um, Cat cats and their toys. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. Cats are uh, assholes, man. It's Drip's turn. Drip's turn comes and he barges in. And yeah, laughs as he attacks your friend. Drip bad, Drip kill you. Uh, the problem is, Nelson, you rubbed my belly. That was the problem. <laughs> as I went by, and I went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one of those cats yeah. that it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to shut my belly and invite you to rub me. And then actually, it's all just a ruse. Exactly. <laughs> no, you rubbed him. Counterclockwise, you wanted to rub. No, 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 no. We, we we actually had a cat like that growing up, where she would she would roll on her back and be like, "Oh, rub me, rub me," and then you would, and she would like just go to town on your hands because it was all a trap every yeah. time. Yeah, we had other cat like she, that. She, she um, was the emperor at the Death Star too. <laughs> so um, yeah, so Drip comes in and swings his scimitar and kills the remaining ruffian. Dead. Good troop. Okay, good. I, I would like to kick uh, 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 Yenyella in the shin. 
<laughs> I, I, I'll even take it. I won't even. Sorry, sorry. Just go ahead. <laughs> okay. And uh, I'm gonna have to take one of those potions, I think. Unless there's no immediate combat. Well, let's put. Is there gonna be? There's still skeletons left, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take one of those potions then. Uh, Do it. Two D four plus two. Oh, I'm actually going to try and type two. it this time because I need to. Run. 2d4. Is it space plus 2 or, or just. Plus uh, two? No, you just put the plus 2 at the right at the end. Hooray, it worked. 6. Okay. Yeah, I think I did more damage to you than I did to anybody. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What the sword giveth, the sword taketh. I'll be fucking friend. Um, so it's let's go the take care of this player to... doing more damage to your allies than the enemy. <laughs> um, just so you know, the room is still on fire. Yeah, uh, I'm stepping out of it. Uh, we'll just let it burn. Follow the loot inside it. Okay, fine. We'll get the buckets of water. Yeah, there's some water like right <laughs> there. Droop, Droop says. No, good stuff here. Good stuff here. Fine. We'll try and throw the water out. Damn so, um, pyromaniac spend, mages. Spend about ten minutes putting up the fire. And then we investigate the yep, charred yep. remains. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, anything magical doesn't burn. Fifteen. Okay, you, as you're searching around the room, you find... A uh, thousand copper pieces, God eighty damn. gold pieces, five hundred silver pieces. Find small, another small gold bracelet worth twenty-five gold. Another fancy silk handkerchief, and a whip. A whip. A whip. Does it look better than most of the equipment they've been carrying? Yes. This this whip looks very good. Uh, uh, I'm going to go to Bubba and say, i got a funny feeling about this whip. Mm, it looks very well made. I can always check it for the magical pro properties if you want. Well, uh, we'll come back to it, but I just want to check something. Um, you're also fine. Uh, two garnets with ten gold, and three dirty scarlet cloaks that are now slightly burnt. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip those. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Oh, still got the um the barrels to check inside as well, and and the cellar. Oh yeah, in the main in the lobby, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um I, I'll check ready. those. Okay. Um You find um some salted pork, beef, flour, and sugar, some apples and ale. Oh is it uh, good stuff now? Like not rotten? They're not these are fine, they're not rotten at all. Okay. I grab all of the meat and the ale. Uh, hold on. Let's not grab it all right now. We'll come back for it. That's going to be a lot of stuff to carry. That's yeah, going to be bow. Yes. I grab one pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to be more like salted pork belly than more anything else. Bacon. Oh, so N Nelson looks mild mildly intrigued, but I mean, it's not horse or wolf, so, you know, it's not the good stuff. Or owl. Some or beef. owl. Oh, Owl's the best, man. Oh, so good. <laughs> right, so what are you going to turn? Prisoners. Prisoners. Okay. As you go through the tunnel, you open up a whitish corridor. I, I caught a star for Eddie, by the way. Okay. As you see, the, um, two double doors at the end. Okay. Uh, 
I'll do a perception check. Oh, uh, no, it's too late now. Um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. You three make a uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Damn it, the one time we didn't check for traps. Uh, oh! Well, you got too far ahead of me, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Gonzaki, oh, you, you leap over. Oh, you see, as you um, feel the, the fall underneath your fall, <laughs> leap to the edge and get over, but. <laughs> And I look back and I see. No, oh, so right. and uh, Darwin, you both fall twenty feet into a pit, and you both take. Uh, <laughs> two bludgeoning damage, and you're both prone. Two, okay. Yeah, I roll, I roll snake eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> I I landed on him and he landed on me, so we broke each other's fall. Uh, yeah, somehow. Intertwined. Feel, feel bad, man. In, in the defiance yeah. of the, all the laws of physics. You can leap over this quite easily, uh, if you wish. I, I, I ask, uh, I ask Droop, why didn't you warn us about this? Droop forgot. Droop, sorry. All right. Would I'm somebody gonna... please oh, oh, oh. throw a rope down here so we can get out? <laughs> I throw a rope down. You, you spend the next ten minutes getting up the, the getting up the the the, uh, the pit. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Now I'll listen at the door and check the door for for traps and such. Because after that pit, there's got me most likely something here. So, we'll check the door. The door is Maybe. locked. I'm going to take out the iron and key, I... and... and I'm going to put it in the lock and see if it turns. Uh, do I hear anything turn. first? Uh, you don't hear anything. Okay. I got my quarter staff ready. So does the iron key work? Uh, the iron key works, the okay. unlocks, and the uh, door opens. Yeah. As the uh, do, 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 do. that's not what I want. I miss. As you open, uh, you walk in and you see four uh, three sarcophagus. Huh. Um. Uh. Yeah. Is that, is that is that doors at the far end? That is a door. Okay. North. And a door leads east. Um, hmm. And nothing else in here. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Do the sarcophaguses look like they've been? They are opened, or they are open. They're open, but you just see humans with uh, rusty mail. Uh, but they don't animate that at the moment. Is there any way to yeah. tell if they are definitely yeah. just regular old corpses, or do we just have to poke them and see what happens? Oh, oh the um, skeletons are propped up against each of the sarcophagus, but they don't seem. To... Well, that's not normal. Uh, I would, get would any my... of us know that. Could they be independently animated, or would the, the would Glass Staff himself have to be here to get these things to? Would any one of us know enough about magic to know that? I was kind of wondering the same thing. Because uh... they could just be like puppets without strings at the moment, <laughs> or they it's trigger. All... At some... um... I'm guessing as soon as we open one of those doors, that's when they'll trigger. Because they're guards, remember? Uh, yeah, well, I can't check to see if they're magical or not. Uh, I'm trolling this to give a plus, give advantage to um, to Jaeger on his roll, uh, to Bubba on his roll. You better roll better than that, then, Bubba. Oh. 
So you have advantage on your arcana. I get the feeling that there is some magic kicking about, but you don't know where it's come from. Hmm. But the skeletons don't seem to notice your presence. Um, Nelson, do you want to hit one of them in the head with your hammer? Uh, Nelson, no, get ready to attack. Yeah, he's like okay. Better safe than sorry. And he's gonna. Right, do we know where they are exactly? Are they kind of just. just At each of the. Yeah. Each of the sarcophagus. Right there. So um, we'll kind of step forward and. Just a second. Step right here. I. Oh, okay. I am. Oh, I was considering doing a two handed, but if this turns into a fight, I think I want my shield. Uh, yeah, I'll just do one handed then. Before okay. you hit, I'm going to prep myself there at that one. Should it start uh, moving to hit it? Yeah, I would think this would be a time when we could, you know... Um, as you move there, you got that skeleton next to you. It's going to make an attack oh. against you. Jaeger? Or Kizeki, uh, you mean? Kizeki. So I uh, came from... Do I from get time to make my attack there first? And there? No, it's an attack of opportunity. Okay. That's... 23 to hit. That hits. 7 piercing damage. And uh, everyone in start bolt. This should have. Yeah, right there. Go to this. Oh. Yeah, roll initiative. The um, activate. Oh my god, four. I didn't roll terribly for a change. Change mine to a 4, by the way. Or I can. Never mind. I can't. Uh, yeah, you. Um, because you moved 10 feet within that door, they are going to start attacking. Ah, that um, was the trigger. Oh, 10 feet within the door. Okay. Yeah, and because you're not wearing a scarlet cloak, they attacked you. I was guessing it was something like that. Skeletons have color vision. See, I told you <laughs> there was a trigger. I yelled back to Drew. Why didn't you tell us about this? You didn't ask. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Drew, is that a good friend, isn't he? Yeah, uh, well, let's put it this way. Hey, he doesn't hey, know hey, everything. You know, he's not stabbed me for like half my hit points. I'll take him over the cat <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. But what happens since the goblin is more trustworthy than the cat? Right, well, as I'm halfway down the order, I'm going to very quickly, you know, dash okay. to the bathroom while you're so, um, this, uh... It's shoot to go away. Here you go. I'm going to mind thrust uh, the one closest to um, Nelson. Uh, okay. Mind thrust away. Uh, that's an eight, so that fails. Two. Yeah, uh, okay. And that's it. Well, uh, the one closest to Nelson. Yep. Okay, Doc. Yeah. That room, it should need to go. Yeah. I'll just, uh, I'll, I, I've always wanted to see if skeletons are flammable. Okay. And the one uh, right beside Sir Nilsol. Okay. As you um, let's conjure up your what... fireball. Yeah. yeah. You um, fling it at him and it impacts onto the uh, garden. Okay. Right. Uh, back just in time, I think. Uh, yes. Uh, is that everything time on? Yeah, that's everything I do this turn. Now you to go, Nelson. Nelson. I 
Okay, I'm gonna whack the guy, and with it being bludgeoning damage, is that how does that? It's uh, normal. Okay, so it's not like with advantage against them, or yeah, you, you do little or no damage with slashing. Oh, I see. So other types of damage, it's reduced, and bludgeoning is yeah. like full damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, no. But as you hit this, if you bring your Warhammer to a skeleton, you smack into it and it crumbles into dust and uh, bits of rusty armor. Okay. He is, uh, no more. And I'm going to move up uh, to this one. Okay. And then I'm going to use Action Surge. Okay. And I'm going to attack again. Do okay. it. Do it. Um. Yeah. And you. Uh, that. No, oh, it doesn't hit. That does not hit. Oh, okay. Um. I think that's my turn. Yeah. Unless you want to kill you. <laughs> Mm. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to hold yep. on to those potions. Right, yeah, that's my turn. Drip, help, drip, help. Drip runs forward and um, slashes at this uh, skeleton in front of it. Me like skeleton, skeleton's bad. Um, his sword impacts onto the skeleton, leaving a nasty gouge in its uh, wrist. Plate. Yeah, and that's the end of a uh, troop stone. And it's now, oh, that skeleton. I uh, move in front of. And Nelson, he's going to make an attack against you. Okay. Uh, which is a nine, so not definite hit. miss. Uh, so it's now next skeleton. Skeleton in front of Drip, and uh, he's going to attack Drip. And that's going to be... Oh, okay. Um, as the skeleton pulls back his sword and swings us forward, it connects with Drip. And Drip's head flies off. Oh. <laughs> well, that takes care of what we're going to need to do with him at the end of the game. And um, oh. Drip falls back quite backward. Was that a 20? Um, that was a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Drip. Uh, droop. Droop is normal. Bad, bad droop. Uh, yeah. It is now... Uh... Nelson shields his rat's eyes from the scene of violence that unfolds before him. Um. Oh yeah, shit. Uh, the rat's gone. What? The rat has just vanished. No! Oh, wow. uh, Uh-oh. Damn it, it I rolled magic... I rolled a 20 for you, you little bugger. It, oh, wow. it, 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 was a, it was a magical rat. It was probably his familiar. Yeah. So you fed you fed Glassstaff familiar food, you traitor. <laughs> but it was so cute. Sound good to go. Is that okay? Finally... Beat this skeleton after I've take a drink of potion. I'm okay. looking forward to having a pet, but no mind. Yay, I get all, all my health back and then I'm not beating a drum. Oh, and this. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. So I do a whole. Three damage because I was using a two hand. Oh, I didn't even hit. Never mind. I rolled four. Oh, I saw team. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. You 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 mess. Definitely. Okay. 
Jäger. Uh, nah, it's up to you. Uh, I'm going to mind thrust the one that killed um, Droop. Okay. Eh. Uh. Save so that um, as you mind thrust him, he's dead. Well, I mean, it was already and, dead, but you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we know what you mean. He, <laughs> he implodes into dust. Is that everyone? That, that's for Droop. <laughs> yeah, that's everything. Uh, the room, it's you. I want to blast the poor little innocent skeleton. Oh yeah, that must yeah, be. That's one. Yeah, as the uh, fireball was his past now, so and hits into the wall behind him. Okay, is it my turn? It is your turn, yeah. 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 And I'm just going to whack him. I've just noticed that the rats disappeared at some point and they killed Droop, so I'm pretty pissed off at the moment. And missed completely. <laughs> yeah, oh. you... Um, because I'm so upset. Out the way. Yeah. Tears of the missing rat. Yeah, tears streaming down my shit. face and I'm, I'm blobbing like a child as I swing wildly. <laughs> And right. Skeleton's just looking at me like, what is with you, man? Drip's dead, so... Right. <laughs> Skeleton! Skeleton's going to swing at you. Sword. Uh, but that misses because that's 11. Yep. So, um... Uh, it's now... Uh, is that good to go? Already? Gee. Well, Drip's dead. Skeletons are dead, so... Okay, it's I'm gonna pound this. See if I can pound this guy. Nope. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... So yeah, is that everything. Anything else you want to do? So many eights. <laughs> do some... Yeah, I want well, to do something. To be... Do some. Do to some twisted. Change of fate. That the six on his die roll turns into twelve. Twelve, so much. Oh, no, well. no, that makes no, it be total twelve 14. plus two, so it'd be fourteen. So much. Sneaky damn skeletons! All right. Easiest way to not miss is just to mind thrust and make them do the saves. It's an 18? Yeah, no. It's 11, man. That's safe. So did uh, the, did the 14 from Gitseki, that, that hit then, right? Or did that not hit? No, I rolled an 8. No, but he did. Yeah, no, the 14 didn't hit, no. Okay, alright. Okay. Uh, Daum! Now you. Let's see if we can fireball the, the bits of it. Yeah. Fire, not fireball. Please not fireball. I'm, I'm reminded of that line from... <laughs> that misses. <laughs> from... Uh, there's an early episode of Third Rock from the Sun and they're describing some... I don't. I can't even remember. It's, it's the one where Dick and the rest of them take a painting class and the, oh. they're telling the story about and, and we hit it and we hit it and it just wouldn't die and they all burst out laughing. Uh, is that everything, Darren? Yeah, that's everything. Now so... I, I once again going to take a swing and hope that I actually hit this time because this this bloody skeleton just will not die. Uh, there we go. Yes. And as you hit this skeleton again, uh, the blow shatters his body, tumbles to the ground, and bits bob. 
and as it flies into pieces, I sob. That's for uh, <laughs> what's his face, Nobby, and my little rat. <laughs> Nelson's dead. <laughs> Suddenly, a slab falls from the ceiling and crushes Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, combat, combat's over. Um, yeah. Well, now, so if it's in consolidation, I'm sure there are other rats down here in this basement dungeon thingy. Right. Nelson looks slightly perkier at the prospects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, strange enough, if we had killed that rat, we could have probably incapacitated. <laughs> but it was Some, so cute. Somebody had to touch him and pet him and love him and call him his own. So what he's doing? Uh we'll check the doors. Okay. Uh investigations. Door to the north. Investigation door to the east. <laughs> Nothing uh, wrong with him, right? You don't see fine. Okay. Um we don't have knobby foot to, to tell us which door to go through, so... North door? Sure. We'll open up the north door first. Never look in. Okay. Uh, north door. Have I had the right one? Uh, passageway. Another... So that's a tie-in back into there. The storeroom. We still haven't looted that room yet. Yep. And uh, then we'll open up hopefully yeah. the prisoner room. Uh, the... Second there. For some reason, my... Uh... Weird. Here we go. Right. Right. Uh, you also got a, a door there. I think that door. So what are you what are you doing? On the eastern door. Opening that one up then. Um. Right where I'm standing next to you. Right. Okay. You open up that door there. As you open that door. Um you see two ruffians standing next to the door and both of them will make a stab as you open the door. Damn it. Uh. Oh no That's a twenty critical twenty. Uh oh. So that. Okay. That's. Uh, nine points of piercing damage. Okay, and the other one? Uh, Twelve. Doesn't hit. Right. And initiative. Uh, yes, initiative. I need to roll really well. Damn it. <laughs> it's two ones on initiative. I've transferred my curse to you. Apparently. It's just karma for stabbing me earlier. That's what it is. There you go. Instant karma. Uh, uh, no, that's because I had a I one that stabbed you. Yeah, but you still stabbed me, man. <laughs> Initiative. Initiative. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I could be dead here, gents. If I'm not lucky. What hit points are you on? Five. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's... The ruffian that missed you. Gonna take a multi attack against you. Yeah. Twenty. 
hits. Six damage. I'm at negative one. So you're unconscious? He's gonna yep. step over you and he's gonna take an attack against Feels Bad. Fifteen. Uh, I'm going to use defensive step. So okay. when I hit my attack, reaction to get plus four AC against that attack and teleport up to ten feet to un unoccupied space. Okay. So I'm gonna go that way. Okay. Uh, I'll move Yeager over here, who is currently in. Yeah. Okay. So end of turn. The room. It is now you. Baba. Yeah. I uh, fireball. We got fireball. Fireball. That misses. Yeah. It's a couple of little, little small to fireball. <laughs> okay. Uh... Is that everything? I can't really do anything else right now. Uh, now so that's you to go. I'm going to start off by drinking a potion. Which takes me down to one of those. It was what? One? Oh, uh... 2d4 two 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 plus two. two. Yeah, 2d4 plus two. Eight. Nice, that's nearly back up to full health. Right, I'm going to step forward and swing at this guy. Okay. That hits as you um, step forward, covering uh, your cat from any further harm. You bring your warhammer around and you hit him in the chest, uh, knocking him. Slightly side. Uh, uh, is that everything? Yeah, that's my turn. Yiga. I'm going to walk up to Yaniela and feed the cat one of my potions. Okay. As my action. Are they both dead? No. Well, don't forget, I'm like literally right there. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry, I thought... So I'm right out here, I'm at the feet of the guy. So... I, just re I retract yeah, that I'll, statement. Yeah. I'll move you back there, to over there instead. Okay. I will... I was, what I was going to do is move me there so I can actually... For no, black no. otherwise. That will work, yeah. Okay, I will instead uh, just shoot an arrow at the first guy who's out the door. Poisoned? Yes. Okay. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, roll me a D100. Yeah, he sounded so excited. Roll me a D100. Now, now. <laughs> Four. Oh. Am I going to get shot oh. again? No. Oh, that's interesting. Uh... The heroic cat falls, trying to save the captured people. I'm sure like any good cat, you have more than nine lives. Hey, I rolled special, I got 18. <laughs> It'd be funny, actually, if there's a tabaxi, you've got extra, you know, death-saving throws. I'm really curious now. 
exactly how this is going to go down. Yeah, what's going to happen now? Um, I don't need to box up that one. The, the arrow ricochets off the corner of the wall and uh, comes right back at you. Kills you in yellow. Kills the cat. Roll me a D8 quickly. There you go. For direction. Oh. Oh. That makes things interesting. <laughs> Does he... Oh, he probably kills a captive now. And I will roll... D100. Okay, right. so um, I'll figure this out later. As you pull back on your um, your bow, you feel something fall off. What fall off the bow? No, you don't. You don't carry a back a backpack, do you? Well, he's yeah. carrying books, so he has to be. Okay, you feel something fall out of your backpack. And out of this, and this, um, boom, this lapse of concentration, you fire off your arrow. As you look down to see what fell, shoots himself in the foot. Right. Okay. That took longer than I expected, but yeah, that's you. Um, uh, roughly number two is going to step into the doorway, and he's going to. Uh, so he missed with his yeah bad shot. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be like a hand grenade fell out or something. Well, no, it's um a magical item fell out of his backpack. And I determine what magical item it is. Ah, uh, okay. Did he even have one? Is the question. It's a random magical item that comes from nowhere. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is, okay. I wonder that was taking a Free while. Loot. Um, and that uh, ruffian is going to stand there. Nothing. Um, so you're standing on top of me, okay? So I'll just yeah, myself. Uh, roll a death intro. Yep, yep. Yay! You uh, stabilize and you come back to life. I'm one. Nope. Yeah. I that need is... three. Nope. Oh, you, you're saying you, so you can actually if you get roll, a, a natural if, like, yeah. twenty on a saving throw. You just come back to life. Oh, okay. So, so you're doing a little different from the book. Okay, that's fine. We have oh, now. you regain one hit point. Okay, never mind. One hit point, it. and you come back. It's now your turn. Um, for the sake of it, see that they moved you out the way to get over you. So they drug you out the well, way. Very, very gently and tenderly ah. kicked his body. Yeah. Out of the way. Very much. Uh, so it's your there. turn. Uh, I am going to first. Uh, I'll disengage. Well, you'll, you'll still be prone at the moment, my... won't you? Yeah, you're prone. Oh, uh, getting up, say, movement action. So no, as, get up, as he's, you know, draw they're... my rapier and stab the guy right next Could to me. Could this be like a stealth attack because they're not expecting or, it? The guy, I can't hit the door. So I'll just hit the guy in front of me. Okay, roll. That would be hilarious if it turned into a stealth. Um, it'll be a surprise attack because not good. Uh, okay, it's not expecting you to come back to life. In that case, he gets ten damage. So ten damage. Don't you like that number, Nelson? Ten. <laughs> I said ten. Ah ah ah. Don't as you, <laughs> this, this, as you. Raise up from what they appear to be dead. Stab this person's side. 
And, I wanted uh, it to be the fact they kicked him out of the way was what somehow magically, you know, yeah. they inadvertently gave him CPR somehow. Pretty much, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, is that everything? That's all I got. You know, don't you have a health potion uh, you can use? Oh, yeah, potion. Potion. Yeah, potion. potion. Uh, thank you for. See, the GM has my best interest in heart. None of you uh, are. I don't want to kill anybody. I mean, Jacob was going to help you. So you told him that I'm Woo-hoo! in a different room, technically. There you go. Back up to 10. Which will last all of 30 seconds, but sure, we'll go with it. All right, uh, it is uh, Ruffian. That's in front of Nelson. He's going to make a mobile attack against you, Nelson. Right. 19. Uh-huh. Miss. 23. Hit. Uh, that is three three piercing damage. Okay. And you consumed one of your patients already, right? Also. Yeah, I've got one left. Right. Okay. Right, I'm just keeping track. Uh, Darmon and feels bad. Each have two. Uh, okay, that's him. It's gonna be Darmon. Let's see if I have my luck with me. Uh, that just messes. Curses! I must practice more. <laughs> um, I guess that's everything. Uh, also, what should? It... Is it? Oh, uh... put him down! I'm put him down! Just, just shoving Nox pro, right? Yeah. I'm just wondering about the possibility of shoving the guy in front of me back into the other guy, would that knock them both over? No. Okay, in which case I'm just going to attack. Okay. Uh, as you bring back your Warhammer... Down. Uh, 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 Everything? Yeah. Okay. Eager, it's now you to go. Okay. Uh yeah, let's mind thrust them. Okay. The guy right in front of Nelson. Well that's a fail, so uh, he takes uh as you seeks- focus on his mind starts to shriek in pain as his head starts to go all weird and funny and painful. That's all. Is it is it possible to? Is there any kind of thing where I can like bring a shield up for you know, in a defensive posture for to save you from the splatter? Well, just in terms of like, if I've not used the movement or something, can I? Do that instead. There, there is an option, but you need to take the shield and master feet. Uh, okay, all right. So that's no, that's nothing I'd have available then, right? No, well, well, you can take no. a defensive action, but then you take yeah. can't really attack. I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is that everything, Jaeger? That's everything. Yep. Right. Uh, Ruffian, uh, try so you walk up to make attack against you. What attack? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's uh, twelve to Kizeki. Miss. Oh, that's a one. So that's going to be the dude. Eighteen. What is it? Uh, as he makes the second attack, fling. As he pulls back, he lights go of his sword and the sword pearls behind him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So he's like That's disarmed. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and so that lands five, five, feet, five feet behind him. So, so it's you to go. 
time to Let's see if I can put him out of his misery. Rape ear him. Okay. Yeah. Rape ear him. Thirteen. Um. Where are you? Sadly, um, right. just my seat. Just. Yep. I was guessing so. That was a good damage roll. That was. Um. Okay. Is that everything? Uh, I want to use my bonus action to disengage and then move here. Okay. Um, Ruffian is going to make a multi-attack against uh, you at the top of the round, uh, Nelson. Okay. 18. Miss. Oh, that's a nat 20. Mm, okay. That... For 6 piercing damage. 6, okay. Major. It could have been worse. Yeah. That was he rolled a one on his damage roll. I, I like though that they they have to roll like a, a twenty or higher to get through my armor. Well, and then they roll in that twenty. They need to roll, uh, yeah, twenty or higher. So yeah, so anything above for these guys would be an eighteen, seventeen. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, that's him. Uh, down room. So mm, maybe I need to get closer to hit barely in the hit. <laughs> You move closer and ready to fling another spell at the uh, ruffian. Because it didn't work. Yeah. You again miss as the fireball flings behind and hits the wall behind them. And we suck. <laughs> and also, it should. Well, this is yeah. This is taking a little while. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna swing at the guy. Okay, that definitely yeah. hits. Nine points you, That definitely hits nine points um, as you uh, swing around and uh, frustration that no one's hitting. Connect. Pile, drive this uh, person into the wall basically with your uh, warhammer. You uh, crumble to the floor. No more. Dead. If you're out of the way. Uh, Kiduk. Is that everything, Nelson? I'm, I'm going to step... Actually, no, I'll stay where I am. I thought, okay. I thought I might step forward to engage, but I can uh, wait. Yeah. Uh, Jager, it's now you to go. Uh, I'm going to rush up, pulling out my dagger. Okay. And I'm going to poison it and then stab him. And he's facing Gizeki at the moment, right? In the butt. Uh, no, he's he's not, so... Yeah, so yeah. I moved away. Oh, no, that's right. He So, yeah, he'd kind of be... Yeah, okay. So you stab him. Uh, okay, you cost your central, uh, which he doesn't make. Yeah, as you sink this dagger into the side of him, you feel you feel it pierce stuff, and he right. pull out, and then um, he's dead. Holy nutters! Uh, Prison jank. I saw the I saw the pearly gates, guys. I saw the pearly <laughs> gates, and I didn't like them. Uh, okay, um, so the dead out of combat, as you can see in the uh, prison, that there is three females uh, in cages. I'm gonna go pick three up the really item that, or... that mark one magic item. Uh, I'll need to figure out. What if it is? Uh, um, but it's a magical item. We found a weird glowing question mark on the ground. Uh, one magic item. Right, so I'm guessing these are like bars and metal. Yeah, uh, but you've got a key, so. Oh, right, so yeah, I'm just going to unlock these then. Like these. Prisoners out. I'm gonna do my cat things and what? search bodies. Sit in the corner and lick your butt. <laughs> I, I didn't want to have to say it out loud. I was gonna try and be gentlemanly. <laughs> I don't find much between the skeletons and the two bodies here. Um, right, as I'm laying these these 
Put these women out. I'm going to tell them the way to <laughs> exit. Have we killed everybody, by the way? Would we have killed all the... Apart from glass stuff? Uh, by my count, yes. Okay. So it's not gonna be, they're not going to run into people upstairs. Except for Glassstaff, who ran away. Yeah. No. Everybody's dead. And my um, little rat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just going to, I'm you know, tell them to yeah. head down and around and go up the stairs and they'll be able to head back to the village. I miscounted. I didn't account for these last two guys. Uh well, we first got to search the other store. We're going to finish checking out the community as well. Yeah. What stuff we, extra was there? Can we just kind of like lump all this together? Because we're getting to. Like, we're over yeah. the four hour mark now. So well, we, just we, can, kind of... we can. Yeah, we can basically stop now. We'll confess it off next week. Yeah. Can want. we just say what we found and start off um, next week back at the. Yeah. Well, well the, the question is, is, is a few more minutes, will this be the end of this little mission and experience? Or. Yeah, you it'll, be the, it'll be the end. Okay. We can, we can like calculate experience and loot off, uh, off stream, I guess. Yeah, uh, six. Uh, to do. Okay, so um, I wanted to look in this room. That room, uh, it's locked. So you open it. I can't. Well, I will. You get the key. Well, you open it. Help, but... Oh, the key opens it. Uh, and it's an armory where it has um, 12 spears, 6 short swords, 4 long swords, 6 light crossbows, and 8 quivers holding 20 bolts. So it's okay. like okay. a candy shop for. Uh, is, this, yeah. is this good quality gear or, or is it just uh, standard? Yeah. Okay, not, not so better than what you, we have at the moment then. Can, can you repeat that? 12 spears, 6 mm -hmm. short swords, 4 long swords, 6 light crossbows. And eight quivers holding twenty crossbow bolts. Wouldn't so, it be possible for me to have like another crossbow and then have like two crossbows at once? <laughs> I mean, one for each hand. Pew pew pew. You, you could dual wield hand crossbows. <laughs> uh, or do I need a feet build... for that? No. No. You just take penalties to attack. Yeah. Okay. Unless you yeah. have ambidexterity right, um... for the other feats. Uh, so yeah, that's. And then the the storage area. Uh, storage area, you will find. Um. It's mainly provisions, but you'll find thirty beaver pelts worth two gold apiece. Okay. Uh, y'all, you can y'all level up as well. Basically, y'all level three now. Hooray! Um, <laughs> I am actually. Mm. Hmm? Um. Oh, only hand crossbows have one hand. Okay, I'm gonna grab myself one of the spears. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's what you'll have. Um, you're level three. Uh, match quite a match. I will find out for next when I find the appropriate loot tables. Uh, and then do, when uh, Darman takes a look at it, is the whip magical or not? The whip is not magical, but it's a fine whip. It's a whip plus one. I have to look at fine equip. Super handy, you can just drag and drop yeah. stuff. Mm. Uh, that was a lot of fun, thank you. It was good, yeah, it's good to be back. So, yeah, it was a nice session. Yeah. It's good dungeon so, um, roll. Hopefully, I will get back uh, next week. Hopefully, I'm ready. Um, so, but I need to go and go walk the dog because he's okay. barking at me. So I shall catch you guys in a bit. Uh, 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 see Grunk, I have a question for you. Yes. How do I handle uh, getting spells? Um, I we can. Do I just pick some or? You pick them. Pick right. spells. Yeah. Right. I shall catch you guys in a bit. Yeah, thanks for okay. the uh, thanks. thanks for the session. Uh, I'm happy to do it again. So yeah, I shall see you guys next week. If you need anything, just give me a poke and I will help with leveling up if anybody needs it. So Ready. I shall catch you guys in a bit. Hope to see you next week. See ya. See ya.